Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Here Starmer is already struggling to keep a lid on furious labor in fighting today as he faces his maiden PMQ's grilling. Sir Kier will take to the dispatch box at noon, having been defied by seven MPs and a vote on the two-child cap on benefits, just a fortnight after securing his historic landslide. But the Premier's brutal response of suspending the group, including prominent left-wingers John McDonnell, Richard Bergen, and Rebecca Long Bailey, sparked an outcry in his own ranks. One of the rebels put on ice for six months, Zara Sultana, suggested this morning that Sir Kier had treated the situation like a macho virility test. She declared she had slept well after voting to scrap the limits on handouts for big families. A Corbinite campaign group branded him Sir Kid Starver on social media, while even supporters warned that he is sitting on a time bomb, despite ministers hinting that they will move to ditch the two-child cap as soon as possible. A further 40 Labour MPs abstained on a King's speech amendment tabled by the SNP, with Sir Kier enjoying an enormous working majority of around 180. The overall result was never in doubt, with the Commons voted 363 to 103, majority 260, to reject the amendment. Some of those who missed the division will have been given permission, but others are thought to have actively dodged taking part. Miss Sultana told ITV's Good Morning Britain that she did not regret her decision. I slept well knowing that I took a stand against child poverty that is affecting 4.3 million people in this country, and it is the right thing to do, and I am glad I did it, she said. She said she saw the email on the way home from the vote last night, saying she had had the whip removed. I look forward to many bills that will be coming forward in this government, including nationalizing rail, the new deal for working people, but I was also very honest that we should go further, we can make a real difference to people's lives, she said. And when you've got anti-charity campaigners, think tanks, trade unions saying that the key driver for child poverty in this country, which is the sixth largest economy in the world, is the Tories' two-child benefit cap, then it is a moral imperative on the Labour Party to scrap that and do everything that they can to make sure that not a single child has to live in unnecessary hardship and poverty. Asked on BBC Radio 4's Today program for her view on Sir Keir, Ms. Sultana said, I'm not interested in playing up to this macho virility test that seems to be what people are talking about. It's about the material conditions of 330,000 children living in poverty. Pressed on whether she meant Sir Kier had viewed the situation as a macho test, Ms. Sultana said, This isn't a game, this is about people's lives. One Labour MP told Politico they were worried about the ruthlessness of the response, saying it was not a good time bomb to be too casual about, whatever your mandate looks like now. Former Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott said she could not vote for personal reasons, but was horrified at the action taken against the rebels. Speaking ahead of the vote Mr. McDonnell, who was Shadow Chancellor under Jeremy Corbyn, confirmed he would back the SNP's amendment. He said, I was in Parliament in 2015 when it, the cap, was introduced, and I condemned it and voted against it then. It's really iniquitous, it's forced large numbers of children into poverty and caused real hardship. I don't like voting for other parties' amendments, but I'm following Keir Starmer's example as he said put country before party. So I'm putting lifting children out of poverty before party whipping 120 different organizations have called for the scrapping of the two-child limit and they comprise of community groups, religious groups, churches, trade unions, and many in my own community. I think it's a dreadful measure that the conservatives introduced and we could lift anywhere up to 400,000 children out of poverty just by this one measure. In the end, he was joined in rebelling by Epsana Begum, Richard Bergen, Ian Byrne, Imran Hussein, Rebecca Long Bailey, and Zara Sultana. Slow hand clapping could be heard in the chamber after the result was announced. The cap was introduced in 2015 by then-conservative Chancellor George Osborne and restricts child welfare payments to the first two children born to most famil.